Are you interested? Interested in developing your curiosity, in cracking the mysteries of the world? Are you interested in building upon those mysteries solved by others before you and coming up with new answers and solutions for the questions we have today? Do you want to look at the world, find out how it works, what makes it tick, and then apply that knowledge to make it work even better? That's what the natural sciences are all about. A career in the natural sciences could very well be in the stars for you. And the many career choices you could make within the natural sciences are almost as vast as the universe itself. From A to Z, astronomy to zoology. The natural sciences have two branches, physical sciences and life sciences. No matter which road you choose, there's the excitement of adventure and discovery waiting for you when you choose a career in the natural sciences. You can be an astronomer looking for a distant planet. You can be a lab technician hunting for a deadly virus. You can be an emergency paramedic saving lives every day. You can be a chemical engineer developing new fuels and energy sources. You can be a horticulturalist growing exquisite plants. You can even be a mining engineer. Blow things up and get paid for it. <laughs> As you can see, science is always exciting and explosive and moving forward. Here at Miami Dade College, it's our goal to always make sure you have the resources, the facilities, and the equipment you need to find that career out there in the physics and chemistry and microbiology, health sciences. The North Campus, is, his goal is to make sure you have the state-of-the-art equipment and, and experiences you need and training to get that job, that career, and excel in the workforce. A career in the physical sciences, which is in great demand, is meteorology. The scientific study of the atmosphere that focuses on weather processes and forecasting. The National Hurricane Center is located in South Florida and employs over 60 people. In addition, there are over 15 television stations in the area, each one employing several full-time meteorologists for their newscasts. I really enjoy my work tremendously. I mean, I don't really get upset about the hurricanes and the severe storms and things like that. That's part of the beauty of nature. And the fact, that's what I live for, is to just really, really soak myself into this field of meteorology. It's not always sunny and warm. It's not always clear and cool. Some days we're really, really busy. And I've got to tell you, being a community college graduate years ago, before I went off and got more education and more experience, really set the tone for me because it gave me a chance to really get in the classroom and see if this is really what I wanted to do and I found out I'm very passionate. It's a career that has far exceeded my expectations. I highly recommend it. Hello, my name is Roxanne Diaz and I'm a student at Miami Day Honors College. Uh, I chose my majoring my senior year of high school when I was assigned a biology project. Uh, I was assigned um, to evaluate the climate change in my country, Peru, and after I completed that project, I realized the climate change in, in my country and in the world, and I wanted to do something about it. At Miami-Dade College's North Campus, its new science complex is equipped with a state-of-the-art weather center where students can begin a career in meteorology. The new $40 million science complex at Miami-Dade College's North Campus contains 21 science laboratories, including biology, chemistry, physics, earth sciences, microbiology, organic chemistry, forensics, zoology, botany, environmental sciences, and biotechnology. The expansive complex is also equipped with a state-of-the-art weather center, as well as a working greenhouse, an ornamental plant greenhouse, a palmetum, which is a specialized botanical garden devoted to palm trees, a regular botanical garden, a lecture hall, classroom facilities, and a large lakefront plaza. With our new science complex, Miami-Dade College North Campus becomes a key player at the national level in increasing the number of students pursuing science careers. Hello, my name is Brian and I'm studying science at Miami-Dade College and I'm looking forward to a great career. Many careers in the natural sciences are interdisciplinary, encompassing both the physical sciences and the life sciences. 
choose a career in the life sciences and you can feel the great satisfaction of knowing that you are helping people. When you become an emergency paramedic, saving a life at an accident site, a pharmacist dispensing prescriptions to end pain, a health information manager keeping all these life-saving records straight, or a therapist helping others recover and regain their abilities. Here at Miami-Dade College, we train our students in the life sciences. By definition, life science is any field that studies living organisms and their behavior. It encompasses many different fields, including biology, genetics, ecology, botany, as well as medicine. Here at the college, our students can choose to pursue the first two years of a four-year degree in the biological sciences. We also offer all of the prerequisite science courses for students wishing to pursue careers in the allied health field, such as nursing or physician assistant. We also now offer degrees in biotechnology, which is one of the fastest growing fields here in South Florida. Biotechnology careers include research scientist, biomedical engineer, biochemist, molecular biologist, lab technician, forensic scientist, and DNA analyst. In addition to these careers, which are focused on human health and wellness, the natural sciences can also prepare you for careers in the breeding of livestock for food production. Nationally, Florida ranks 12th in beef cows and 18th in total cattle, including dairy cattle. Florida dairies produce billions of gallons of milk yearly, and the total value of Florida chicken and egg production comes close to half a billion dollars every year. Florida is also a leading center in the recently developed science of aquaculture. The farming of freshwater and saltwater organisms, including fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. The Aqua Ranch is an aquaculture company mainly. Here we grow cobia. Right now we're planning on growing grouper this year. Uh, we want to switch over to, to grouper for wild stock enhancement, which is we raise grouper to fingerling size and then we release them into the wild uh, to stock the wild supplies in the oceans. However, the fish that we, we birth here, that we hatch, uh, are the ones that you'll see on your dinner table. I see a very big future in aquaculture. We, uh, we believe that aquaculture is the wave of the future. The oceans are being depleted. There's no world government that can control the fishing industries in other countries, so the depletions are skyrocketing. Uh, the only way we're gonna get fish in the future is if we grow them. South Florida is also famous for growing and distributing a large share of the nation's ornamental tropical fish market. With roughly 15 farms breeding tropical fish, the area has long been the nation's ornamental fish capital. It's a multi-million dollar industry in South Miami-Dade. The business started in 1950 when my father and mother and, and my sister and I moved down from New York. Uh, my dad was a hobbyist. He had about 40 aquariums in New York. Very, very difficult to say how many fish are actually on this farm. If you count koi, there are probably five to 10,000 koi and African cichlids. But if you get into stuff, uh, small fish like guppies, there could be millions of guppies if you count the babies and so on. When it came to give back to the community, I decided I wanted to donate some koi to Miami-Dade College North Campus because they called and asked for, asked for a donation of two or three koi. Uh, I told them I would send them a hundred and, and they were flabbergasted. So the college has renovated the lake. Uh, they put tables and chairs around it. The students and faculty gather around the lake at lunchtime and, uh, and take advantage of the, the feeders that this, the school has placed there and they, they actually feed the fish and the fish will come to a, a certain area where the people can enjoy them. But stop, you've covered the universe, weather, people, animals, and even fish. What about the plant world? That's what I'm interested in. Then you want to talk to me. My name is Vladimir Diaz. I'm the representative of the United States Department of Agriculture, commonly known as USDA, here at Miami-Dade College. Agriculture is an important industry for the state of Florida. Here we produce citrus fruits, such as oranges, lemons, and grapefruits, as well as tomatoes and many varieties of subtropical fruits and vegetables that can only grow in our warm climate. We at USDA provide MVC students with internship and employment opportunities in plant sciences. For example, we have exciting careers for botanists, 
horticulturalists, nursery managers, and landscape engineers. I think it's important to choose a career you enjoy. Working at Miami-Dade College, I have that opportunity. Through a USDA grant, we're able to build shade house, greenhouse, as well as a palmetum. This allows me to work with plants, also work with students by choosing a career in biology. It allows you to enrich your own life, to enrich the world, while also making a contribution to the planet. And one of the essential elements for life on this planet is water. The responsibility of the South Florida Water Management District. They are in charge of water quality, flood control, water supply, and environmental restoration in 16 counties, from Orlando to the Florida Keys. And is the lead agency in restoring America's Everglades, the largest environmental project in the nation's history. My name is Ed Hernandez. I work for the South Florida Water Management District. I'm the service center director here in Miami-Dade County. And what we do here at the district is to manage and protect the water resources of the region by balancing our natural resources, water quality, flood control, and water supply. The types of people we hire here at the districts are, are meteorologists, biologists, chemists, uh, hydrologists. All kinds of science careers are available at the district. If you want a career that's fulfilling and helps the ecosystem of South Florida, then this could be the career for you. We do the coolest work on the planet. Graduates in science can also find fulfilling careers in the academic world, teaching physics, chemistry, biology, and environmental sciences at the college or high school level. My name is Mr. Tompkins. I teach physics and integrated science here at Michael Crop Senior High. I've been teaching for about seven years. Um, within that time, I've been helping students pursue careers in science and math. Studying math and science will help students um, be successful in college and hopefully pursue a career in engineering or medicine, which will be beneficial to their future. Hello, my name is Kaya Boone Smith Daniels, and I'm a student at Dr. Michael Crop Senior High School. I'm studying science, in particular physics here, and I'm very excited about the foundations that I'm getting and the great teachers that I have. So I hope really that the skills that I have here and my foundations are strong, that I can do whatever I want to do. I'm studying science because I want a bright future and a good career, and I'm working very hard to achieve it. Science jobs are high paying and high demand. That career of choice out there is for you. I made up my mind to study science, and the facilities at Miami-Dade College North Campus are truly awesome. And I'm coming too. If you're interested in learning more details about a career in biotechnology, plant science, or any of the natural sciences, please go back to this DVD's menu to watch those videos. And don't forget to ask your advisor for more details about how to pursue those careers.